morning. Welcome to the Homemaking Maven. Today, by request from quite a few of you, I will be going through a little bit of the curriculum I choose for homeschool. So yes, I am a Canadian mom of five kids. Uh, three of them, three of them are school age. I've got a grade four, a grade two, and a junior kindergarten, and I homeschool the three oldest. So I'm gonna go over grade four stuff. If you've been with me for a while, and some of you have, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> you know that I started homeschooling last year. My oldest, my son was in grade three, and he had a very difficult grade two. I met with the teachers, tried to resolve issues, and in fact, one teacher we met with said he might do better with a different curriculum. So I'm not faulting the school. I'm not faulting teachers. If you do public school, that's awesome. That's great. I did public school, um, but it wasn't a good fit for my son. So we decided to homeschool him and he is thriving. He is doing really, really great. So I just wanted to share with you the curriculum that we've been using. And yeah, maybe that can help you out as well. <laughs> So to start with, we have this. This is the grade four Canadian curriculum. This is very inexpensive. I think it's, um, yeah, it's $20. I buy it from Amazon, super easy. I photocopy all the pages so um, I can reuse this book for younger kids. Uh, the one thing with it is there is no teacher's manual. So if you use this book, uh, you need to look ahead and know how to teach it. So even without a teacher's manual, um, I didn't have a problem with any grade four materials. And so I find it very easy to teach to. Uh, I actually still remember everything I learned in grade four. That's kind of an odd thing. So, <laughs> so this covers, uh, as you see, math, English, social studies, and science. So the science portion I find super duper easy, but I do have a degree in science. So maybe that's why. Um, social studies also super duper easy. Um, mostly it's talking about like world cultures. So you're learning about um, how like Jewish people do things versus like people from India versus people in Europe, you know, you're learning about global things. So it's all good. And um, English of course is English. You read a portion and then you have uh, questions that you have to answer based on reading. And then you have a section about um, like grammar and yeah, different stuff like that. Math. It's math. So the math portion I absolutely love. We do English social studies and science um, only a few days a week. Our big focus is on math and French. I'll get to that later. So for the math, because we do it every day and there's not enough in this book for us to be able to do it every day, I also picked up this, the Canadian Curriculum Math Smart. And so it was only $7 on Amazon. And basically it just adds more work on top of this. So I follow along the order in here in math. And I found when my son was in school that this matched perfectly to what he was doing in school. So I know this covers the exact same thing that he would in uh, what we call big school or public school. And so this is just extra work. So whenever he's done a section, I'll just go through here and see if there's a couple more pages that he can do. I also go online for a few more resources. And my favorite uh, place to go is called K5 Learning because they have free sheets that you can print off, free worksheets. You just go to the bottom of their page and there's a place where you can click and you click on grade level and the um, subject, and they have lots of subjects there, um, but I use their math primarily. Okay, so that is the bulk of what we do every day is out of these two books. And this is our next book, which is called Ma Quatrième Année Expliquée. So this is my fourth grade explained. And so what it's actually meant to be is it's meant for a child to go to a big school or public school and then come home and kind of have extra sheets to help them learn. So it is very good. The worksheets are very good. I do enjoy that. Um, it's meant to follow along with the French curriculum in Quebec. So it is slightly more advanced than what he would be learning in a French immersion um, grade four class, which is what he would be here in Ontario. Uh, but it is, they are very well done. I have found some mistakes, which is a little 
surprising <laughs> because French is my second language and I, yeah, I'm surprised that I've found mistakes, but there has been some mistakes in the book. Um, just in terms of the answer, like the answers at the back, I, I'm like, I don't think that's how you spell that word and I'll look it up in the dictionary and yeah, the book has it wrong. So anyway, uh, I'm a little surprised by that, but also I don't like the way it's laid out. So this book, uh, similar to this grade four book, is uh, in order of like grammar and then spelling and then, you know. I liked our last book, which was Biz Biz, which I'll show you a picture of it right here. And so this is what we used when he was in grade three and I absolutely loved it. Again, following the curriculum in Quebec and it was so fantastic. I really enjoyed it. My son really enjoyed it. However, when I went to order a new one for this year, a grade four one, they don't make them anymore. They don't sell them anymore. I was so disappointed and so shocked that I could not get this book anymore because I absolutely loved it. And yeah, so this is what we're trying this year. This one isn't really working for us, so I'm gonna have to find a different one, but we'll, we'll finish it up. We'll use it up for the rest of the year and then hopefully find something that we like better. Okay, going on to writing. So um, what we used last year was this cursive handwriting, handwriting without tears. Loved it. My son who hates writing actually enjoyed this and his handwriting is, okay, his printing is atrocious, but his handwriting is gorgeous. <laughs> so um, he really did really well in it. The one thing I found though, is that they don't really talk about how to write capitals. Uh, I don't know why, but they don't really go into writing capitals. So I did find this book from the dollar store. So this is the Brainy book, K22. So it actually starts out in the front. It actually has a bunch of printing. So if you wanted to start your kindergartner in printing, you can use these pages. And I did print some out for my kindergarten, my JK child, but she was really bored by them because <laughs> The other writing pages that I can get for her, they'll have a little drawing section or they'll ask her questions and she can, you know, match up the letters or she can cut and paste. Anyway, there's a little activity that goes with the other printing pages that I print off for her. And so these ones, which are just lines, she's bored. My JK did not like them, but <laughs> my grade four, um, he's doing really well. So they have sentences. Right here you can see as well as the upper and the lower case and so he's doing really great doing that and then for writing we've just started this i was having them do a little book which maybe you did this in elementary as well i did it where you had a book where you drew a picture or something and then you'd write some sentences at the bottom well he didn't really like that he yeah, he, he loved the drawing of the picture part, but the writing part, he didn't really like. So we're trying this. Um, so this is by Kumon. And this was $9 off of Amazon. And uh, yeah, so we're giving this a try. So far, so good. He's doing a lot of writing already in it, which he's not really a huge fan, but... <laughs> trying to encourage him little steps that, you know, writing is something he needs to do. And thankfully we're making huge leaps and bounds when it comes to reading. So for reading, what we've done um, for English, I haven't really done much in terms of English reading with him. I've really been focusing on the French reading and to do that, I've created these cards. So I couldn't find any cards that helped me the way I wanted them to. So I just created my own and basically all the sounds that you have in French for French reading, I've created these little cards for. So just like the sound A eh, is like in my. So that any times he read these words, they make the A eh sound. So in French, I never realized how many times like a certain sound, um, oh, this is R, you go, so like A, all these, letter combinations make the sound A. So I had him start going through these cards so that when he would read a story, he would know what sound it would make because he really, really struggled with that. It's really hard to go from the alphabet with all these letters make these sounds 
to here just read this like he had a really hard time with the letter combinations especially especially in the French reading anyway so we've got these j'aime lire and we actually got a few of them just from a friend who had them and they didn't their kids are older they didn't want them anymore but they are a subscription so you can get like one a month uh, sent to your house and so that's pretty cool I think and they are Canadian as well, which is really great. Um, so the stories, they just have little stories inside and little cartoons and little activities. But the stories are really, really fun. And obviously there's a lot of pictures. And so my son enjoys it. Like if we skip a day of reading, he'll be like, well, mommy, what happens in the story? <laughs> so we always read um, a couple of pages at least. And he's doing really excellent. I'm really proud of him. For English, what he has found, his aunt gave him an underpants books. And so he's really, really loved that. We started off reading it to him and he just loved them so much. He started reading them himself, which is amazing. And last of all, what we have to cover art is this book, Great Artists. And I highly recommend it. We have had so much fun doing all the different art and I'll try and put a picture montage at the end of this video just so you can see a few of the things that we've made. Um, so the book itself is amazing. So yeah, it's, it's an artist, you learn about them, you do uh, an example of their artwork. Yeah, so it's just been so much fun and each page is different and you learn about a different artist and uh, we've just been enjoying it so, so much. It won a Benjamin Franklin Award and it won Practical Homeschooling Reader Award. Yes, <laughs> that was almost $20. I think this was also on Amazon. So this is what we are homeschooling. This is slightly different. Uh, my Homemaking Maven channel, I am kind of steering in a slightly different direction, a little more away from homeschooling and more towards um, like the homemaking type stuff like baking and cooking and cleaning and all that sort of stuff um, So I am going to be moving all my homeschooling videos over to my new channel Which is called Lowenwood Forest Homeschool and right now we are doing a thousand hours outside challenge We're trying to get the kids outside that many hours um, But I would like to start inserting different videos like this one where I'm talking more about curriculum and more about our schedules and more about um, How we're doing things throughout the day. So Oh, if you want to leave me questions down below, uh, questions that you would like answered for homeschool, questions, you know, things you're just curious about and you wonder how other homeschooling parents do it, please ask them. I would love to make a video about what we do and how we do things. But again, I'm going to try and post those videos over on my Lowenwood Forest Homeschool channel and I'll leave a link to that down below too. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I want to say thank you especially to Tanya Eggers, SK Language, and Zainab Hussein for watching and for leaving me comments on my previous videos. Thank you so much, ladies. And um, I look forward to all of your comments. And hopefully I'll see you over on my new channel. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.